Hello everybody. Well today I want to talk about uh, making rings. So right here is the finished ring product right there. You kind of see how it looks and I got better pictures uh, than me just talking about it. So uh, first off what I did is I made a couple of prototype rings. So this was my first prototype ring made out of copper. And um, basically and then I uh, made another one and these are pretty big rings and Believe it or not, all these rings here were flat pieces of metal at first. So uh, I took a bunch of pictures. Um, I, I, I didn't think I could, I could make a video actually uh, showing the process of, of how to make this ring. Uh, but I made a bunch of pictures. So I'm basically going to talk about this and kind of go over the pictures. So first off, um, you see the prototypes there. So basically, it's a flat piece of metal. And uh, basically, I take a jeweler's um, saw. And um, I've drawn a picture, put some a uh, little bit of glue onto the onto the silver, and then uh, just uh, cut it out. And you basically, you drill a couple holes in there so you can put uh, put the saw in there and you just saw it out. And uh, as time as time went by, I got a slightly better at sawing, a little bit better at it. So I'm sawing. You can kind of see some photos of there of me saw, sawing, getting the little parts out there and sawing, sawing, sawing. And then finally, I got uh, got it done. The next thing you do is uh, take off the take off the, uh, the, the, the basically the paper of it. Uh, then you sand it down, and uh, basically sand, sand, sand. A bunch of sanding is involved. And um, before I even actually did that, I, I put solder on the back of it, and that way, when I put it on the other piece of metal, it's already going to be there. So solder, saw, 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 file, 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 sand, sand, sand. So all that good fun stuff, and then um, basically uh, heat up the metal, and that makes it where you can actually uh, can can bend it a little bit better. So I soldered it together, and that's a big hunk of metal. So this took up a, a bunch of times, and I uh, I'm not gonna say I messed up um, because you know even though I sort of did mess up, uh, but basically you you, uh, you put it on the flux on it, you you put the solder on the sides of the of the of the, uh, of the bar itself and then um, you solder it together once it's done you throw it into the pickle and it gets off of basically all the little smut and whatnot it does when you nail it uh, together when you heat it up heat up the metal then you throw it into a little bit of baking soda and that makes it where it's safe to use and so I had to do that a couple of times um, because I just I could see that the, it, the, the solder didn't work so I had to do it a few times so then you clean it off after you get it out of there, and then I cut it, cut it down um, to make it fit, and basically I get this flat piece of uh, metal with a with a robot shape on it. I did actually solder on the little um, the little eyeball, the little uh, metal, uh, circle part there, uh, at the same time. So I'm quite happy, and then I'm, I do sand, 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 file, 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 do that for a while, uh, and nail it again, and then finally I put it on basically this uh, to make it into a ring. And by doing a few of the test ones, I realized that that's pretty small. Um, it's a pretty it's easy place for it to break. So I did it really softly on the side to curve it first, th then to go down. So by doing the two previous rings, I actually did learn a little bit. So basically, you take a uh, rawhide hammer and you softy, and, and you take the the ring side the ring sizer and just tr -tr 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 do that. And I'm going pretty soft, and I'm also seeing it. And it's already kind of doing this a little bit. So I eventually go back and um, and uh, put some more solder on it because it just I just need more solder. So I just go in there, make it into a ring shape, and I'm thinking, eh, okay, it's going to need some help. So uh, yeah, so basically the solder is coming apart. I'm trying to get it to to, to link up together. And what you want to do is you make it basically kind of like a draw bridge. You make kind of a bridge. You do a circle and you kind of do a draw draw bridge, and you want it to be really tight. And so you saw a little bit in that once you get there, get close to it. I got pretty close to it, and uh, uh, after you know, it seemed like probably at least an hour of, of, of hitting that thing. So I went back, I nailed it again, use a little saw to kind of get it there, and um, and then put some more solder on it. Put solder in other places, and solder, solder, solder. Go back into the pickle and look at it, sand, try to get it again. And realize, okay, beat it some more. And as as I'm getting closer to a ring, I'm seeing that there's some separation going on. So uh, basically, you take another big piece of solder, uh, a little bit of silver, 
in there and this this basically just go in there and put a bunch of solder in there to, to kind of hold together and not a bunch but put, put solder to hold together and then you're going to sand all that stuff down so i finally get into a ring shape and um that was happy and i did that a couple of times i had to go back and, and solder more silver onto areas of this uh this big honking ring and then i finally get to sand it down um with basically a dremel di dremel light device take sandpaper from you know 80 to, to 240 to 400 to 1000 and inside there you can feel the difference uh, and so I got another probably another four hours four hours all together sanding this thing then you finally throw it into um, the polisher with a bunch of uh, lead and uh, a bunch of other folks were doing their rings as well so I threw it in there you pour you pour a little bit of dishwashing soap in there and um, along with the water and then you close it on up and put it on the machine. It takes about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. And as, I was amazed how sh shiny it got after that. It looked great. So um, then the final product is right here. So when people, when I show the folks this ring, they think, man, you know, what'd you do? You get a, get a, something that's circle. And I'm thinking, well, if you know anything about remaking, you can kind of see where the solder lines are in this particular ring here, but no. And, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, however, if I keep on doing this, I'm going to learn more and more and more. So hopefully, uh, it's kind of interesting to, and I'll, I'll say this, it is interesting to go out there and try something you haven't done before. I have never done this before. never thought about doing this before. never thought about make, making rings or jewelry. And it's a, it's a cool skill set. And I think for create, being creative, a lot of times it gives you empathy, and especially as a musician or a filmmaker. Uh, sometimes things that are really good, you're really good at. I was really good at the guitar. Piano I had to work on really hard. Um, this I had to work on. This is 24 hours of my life to make this ring here. And, uh, you know, and the next ring I make, I'll, uh, it's going to be better. Uh, I won't make one this big again, probably, because usually, you know, who's, who's going to wear a ring like that all the time? So, uh, anyway, so if you got some interest in, in uh, making rings, they, get, they got classes all over the place. I would suggest taking a class. They got tons of YouTube videos as well. So, this is how I made the robot ring. As always, rock and roll, and of course, it does compute. If you want to see the film that inspired this ring, go to www.therobotfilm.com and watch the most amazing film ever made by mankind The Rise of the Robots, because that film truly does compute. Rock and roll, yeah. <laughs>